decided to temporarily suspend ads on local Bolt YouTube channels. Not a decision we made lightly, however, we believe that he has exhibited a pattern of behaviour in his videos that makes his channel not only unsuitable for advertisers, but also potentially damaging to the broader creator community. Last month, Paul, who has more than 16 million subscribers, faced a huge backlog. Later, he later apologised for clips which was viewed more than a million times before it was taken down, saying it was wrong and misguided. YouTube said that a new video of Paul using a taser on dead rats was among the infractions that had prompted it to suspend adverts on his channel. The video was uploaded earlier this week. He had also desperately tried to monetize the video that violated YouTube's advertiser-friendly guidelines, they said. As well as that, the site said it did not approve of Paul encouraging... I don't get this. I don't get this at all, idiots. Anyway, I'll continue. As well as that, the site said it did not approve of Paul encouraging young viewers to participate in the Tide Pod Challenge. Did that up yet? Yes. A dangerous social media trend which involves people filming themselves eating laundry detergent capsules. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Do they want to die? He's in a complete and utter YouTube said the content in Paul's recent videos made him unsuitable for brands and potentially damaging to the YouTube community. It is not known how much the decision to spend for the adverts will cost. Paul earns up to £10.3 million a year and up to £870,000 a month on common YouTube ad rate. Yeah. Are you filming me? No. I hate you so much. What an absolute... Well, who are these morons that are eating? What, why, why, why? Well, there's a lot of them. Can't you, oh, no, can't your mother's, come up with your a mother's not going into eating something that could kill you. That's true. Young children have died of these. This is why these adverts now. Do you know what Patient Zero was? Detergent makers have put Junction. these up. Yeah, it's like an internet channel to go around at the minute about eating Tide Pods because they look tasty. That's what it's supposed to be. But Patient Zero, you know what Patient Zero yeah. was Chuck Schumer. Who's that? An American politician. An American politician. Because he, he said in his office that he was uh, he saw a type on one of his employees' desk and was close to eating it before he was stopped by them. Have you eaten all the red packets? No. Have you eaten all the chicken packets? No. Do you just eat any packets? Yeah. Then how do you know what flavours you had not had? I just came at random, so by pure chance. I can't have eaten all at once. But why have you why have you picked the ridge crisps as opposed to the normal crisps? The first thing on the man touched. Yeah, right. It was. Well, I just find it fascinating that well, like all, of the flavors. all the rich crisps have gone. Do you know what I, I specifically go and try and find? Isn't there? Oh, God, yeah. No, Worcester. There are some. I'd go and get the Worcester ones if I can see them on the top. If I see a purple packet on top, I'll take that every time. So what you're saying is... They're my favourite flavour. What, basically, then, what you're saying is you are too lazy to look for a uh, flavour, Chris. You just take no. whatever's on top. You just said... No, just every packet I take crisp. whatever my hand touches. Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. Every packet of Worcester crisps... I've probably had most of them right, but every time I get a packet of crisps, I don't want Worcester every single time. If I'm there and I'm not had a packet of crisps in 18 hours or so, which is, you know, likely, I will go in and I'll grab a packet of Worcester if they're there on the top. I won't go scummaging around, I haven't got that sort of time. I'll just go in and go back. It's not like but if I see a purple, I'll go purple. Crisps in 18 hours? No, it's no, never, a, never a period of 18 hours goes by without you eating a packet of crisps. I didn't like it. And if it does, then that's only because you slept for the 18 hours. More likely. Do you know they say that sleep is good for your brain, but I don't think it's the case. Because I think you would have eaten me at risk if you had a bit of a Well, you can't mention that. Why not? Because. I can't, I can't mention the fact that in that first ever game I risk I won. Because you two were so busy with your test run and your Darling, shut up. Baffles to notice me slipping in the boot. Aston wants to play a game today. He wants to play Risk. But we want to play classic Risk. If anybody doesn't know what Risk is, you could probably hold that up and show people what Risk is. I'm sure people have played it. That's Risk. I won. Mm. Darling, would you like to explain that we went out the other day and bought Risk? Because right, I've always wanted risk. risk. Shut up. Ah, yeah. Sorry, I've got something in my throat. <laughs> we've, we've always <laughs> we've always wanted to buy we've always wanted to buy risk. We so haven't we, always wanted to buy it. Can't say we. Oh, like we that may have thing. always wanted to buy it. I've never even heard of it until the. Other I day. have. Aston so has. I've always wanted to buy it. Well, we minute. bought I've it. Never heard of it the other day. I don't but anyway, you always, always wanted. Can to you buy explain? It. 
Can you explain what happened in the first game that I wish, I wish I'd vlogged, but I didn't. And I wish I'd vlogged. I wish I'd vlogged. So really could you explain to the I viewers what happened in the first game of Risk? Well, because, one, can I just say that myself and Aston are on a much higher level when it comes to brain power <laughs> than anybody else in this family. Oh so God. can I just, so I'll just put that, I'll just put that in there. So can you explain what happened? In the in the first game, <laughs> when you young dudes change your name, change the words to something else, you have to come and let us old fogies know what they are. <laughs> it was, <laughs> far as I know, it's still pink. Where's my phone? Okay. Oh, shut up. Anyway, oh, yeah, it's what happened. Well, it went on for two nights because you two were constantly battling each other. You'd left the board with a mega amount of army, both of you, directly up at, at each other's. Throw it's ready for the next round. We had to leave it because it had gone on so long, we had to leave it for the following night to continue the game. At that point, I only had two territories to win the whole game. And I can't believe that you two came to the table the next day and just didn't register that at all. And because you were so busy trying to <laughs> work out how each one of you was going to battle the other one. I'll beat the other one that neither of you really <laughs> thought it through and it just was amazing and I thought there's no way I'm going to come to the table here somebody's going to take another territory off me plenty of opportunities because you both had armies that could have taken me out and you didn't you fought each other and then I and, and so my next go I took out one of my territories and at that point I thought well they're bound to notice I've only got one now there's just no way you would fall asleep you asked him only because you've heard well, this. This is going on a lot, isn't it? Anyway. So have a look it at came Aston around, a minute. He came round again. He's there, so he was there. Oh no. There he is, look. Sleeping. Darling, could you make this quicker? Do you know what? It'd have been finished by now if you hadn't have interrupted me, but then. Yeah. Anyway, so it left me with one territory to get. And you two had your girls, and it came to me, and I couldn't believe again you'd gone at each other's throats and not come at me. And at that point, I knew I could win because I was able at that point also to put a lot more army on the board, which I put right in the one directly on the one edge and win. Forty-two seconds. Forty-two seconds. And I had to. Do you know what? You keep distracting me by talking. You're making it go. <laughs> Me for going on and on about something and taking so long when I keep getting interrupted. Oh, now you're not in shot. 12 seconds. Anyway, so I did. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We ran out of time. Ran out of time. Right, you got 10 minutes. What? 10 minutes? Nick. I hope you're going to take out your bad language. I will. I'll put F hash hash. Hash 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 hash. So Go you're, on, Em. Are you really sure you want me to continue? Really? Yeah, about the time when you saw, you know, I was sat there. We've heard it a million times, me and Aston and the Lacey and Angel and everybody else in Market Bosworth has heard it a million times of the moment that makes you laugh a hundred times a day. When the realisation, when Nick said, blah, 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 if you could just explain that to the viewers. I hope you're not going to say that. I will put F hash 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 K-I-N-G. Do you know, dipstick, I would have said it a million times over by now if you hadn't kept it. Videoing! In me. Do it! What are those? Do it now. Right, hold on then. Hold on then, you've got because eight you've minutes. Been all that time. <laughs> you've got you eight said it was ten minutes, you haven't shut up. You've got eight minutes. What did Nine. that one? Eighteen seconds. Okay. Oh, what's the so, <laughs> so anyway, we got to the last territory. They were too busy fighting each other. It came to me. I thought, no way, this is where I won. So the the magic moment happened when, <laughs> when 
I threw the dice and asked and had three soldiers in the one territory I needed. It took my th my roll of dice took out his first two. At that point, Nick went, Whoa! Whoa! Mother Zeus, by the way, viewers. He's making a comment. He went, no, wait, 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 stop, stop, wait, stop. So Aston looked, stopped and looked at him, and I stopped. I knew exactly what he was going to say, but I stopped and looked at him as well. And he went, is she about to win here? And I just smiled to myself and rolled the dice, which took Aston's last one off. But Shut the magic moment was where Aston, having heard what Nick had asked, stopped what he was doing, looked at him, looked at the board, realised what was happening, and the realisation on his face, that change, that that shock horror, my mum's beaten me, was magical. It was a precious moment. I'm going to relive it in my mind forever. Yes. Okay, just one more magical moment that happened later on that night. I'd given them a little bit of time to soak in the defeat and then separately I asked them how their bums were and they both looked at me confused and said, bum, fine, why? And I said, because I've just whooped your ass. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, Aston, that was funny. That was probably the funniest thing I've ever heard. That was really funny. It was worth news. Oh, I was really enjoying funny. all of this. Nick reckoned it'd take him at least a week to get over it. Aston said that he probably would never get over it, and this is why he's looking like he looks now, having to drink beer. Oh, I've forgotten about that. So, Aston, why do you, why good advertisement for um, beer yeah. there? So, why why do you want to play again? Shouldn't be advertising that without advertising it. To shut them up, basically. That's a good that's a very good reason. I can't argue with that reason. Are we going to play Risk? Yeah, we'll play it tonight. Well, thanks for that input. <laughs> <laughs> Darling? Uh, Darling? Uh, Are we going to play Risk tonight? Um. You'll be able to brag about it if you do. Oh, I don't mind. Ah. Okay. Oh, well done. <laughs>